Let's talk about suction. When you think Dyson, think ManchesterVax.com. Hello there, something unusual to show you today, a Dyson cordless product. This is the Dyson OmniGlide. These are only 1.8 kilos and they're kind of very closely related to the Dyson Micro. And I'm gonna do another video about the Micro. Now these, you may have seen recently that Dyson have launched in Japan first, something called the Pencil Vac or the Fluffy Cones Pencil Vac. And this really is the forerunner to that. These were launched in 2021 in Asia and they are primarily de designed for the Asian market. I mean, one of these is no good to you if you've got an Alsatian and a load of carpet. These are designed for hard floors. The, design, the bin is tiny, tiny, tiny on them, which I'll show you. And so they're really designed for like very small flats with hard floors, and that is Asia. That's China, this is Singapore, Korea, Japan. And that is really now Dyson's biggest market since Dyson left the UK and domiciled themselves in Singapore. They've kind of morphed away from being a vacuum cleaner company, haven't they? More of a technology company now with the hair care products and the fans and all the other kind of stuff they do. So a lot of the products that they make now are geared up for the Asian market. And if they choose to launch them here, of course, I mean, some people here have very small flats, don't they, with, uh, with hard floors. And some people may find them convenient because this is a, a tiny, tiny little thing. So we're going to have a closer look. Let's have a let's start with the battery. The battery releases out like this. It doesn't share the battery with any other Dyson model that I'm aware of. If we're going to empty the machine, just very typical sort of Dyson setup there. But again, this bin doesn't share itself with the micro or anything it is quite unique in that way but that is a tiny tiny bin you're getting it's something like 0.2 liters you're not getting much in there so you, you need to live in a place that doesn't have a great deal of dust to have one of these the tool fitting on these and the tool sockets in common with many other Dyson models is the same as nothing else except the micro over there which I'll do again but that tool socket is, is unique to these and the micro. And it'd be nice if I could clip it back in, wouldn't it? Like that. This particular one has a contra-rotating head, which is something that, by which I mean when it runs, that one turns that way, that one turns that way. So this is an idea again that Dyson have followed through with on their new pencil vac and this has a, a quite interesting method of stripping the head down in, in order to be cleaned there's a red button here that you press and it comes off like that so you can clean up the drive cogs you can clean up the casters also this little dust channel comes off here like that so you can clean it up so in, in terms of that it's quite kind of user friendly, isn't it? If tiny. And not only tiny, but light, I've already said to you. I put this on the scales, it's 1.8 kilos. And that is light. It switches on rather like one of the hair dryers, just with a little soft touch button here and two speeds. So we'll give it a little try on the carpet, but it's not going to, uh, it's not going to set the earth on fire, is it? Very light to use, very light to push. And I can show you, if you can see, I'm not, I don't know. Those contra-rotating brushes. This is, this is quite a good idea, and it, and it means that they, they're less likely to get clogged up. And this is an idea, actually, that's used on other machines. The, the contra-rotating brush idea is used by SIBO on the Duo machine which is a machine for agitating uh, dry cleaning powder into carpets. And some of the carpet cleaning trade uses it as well to agitate chemicals in before wet extraction. So it is really a tried and tested method, the, uh, the contra-rotating brushes. And it seems to me, if you've watched the 
video James Dyson did recently about the new pencil vac that has conical shaped brush rolls that the air coils up on and then comes off so you can vacuum it up. This is clearly a line of thinking that's, that's come from this, hasn't it? Where, again, if you imagine Asian markets, women with long dark hair, these are gonna get covered up in hair pretty quickly. And you can't get it off without taking it off and taking it to pieces and cutting them off and messing about like that. So you can see where the progression of technology has gone with the new pencil vac. And rather like these, the pencil vac has, has been designed for the Asian market. It probably will come here eventually, but they'll absolutely roll it out there first. And unless some of the YouTube guys get one in the next few months, next time I go to Hong Kong, I'll probably buy one, fetch it back, and you'll be the first to see one here. But yeah, this is the OmniGlide. We don't sell a great lot of spares for these, actually. We do have a section on the site for them. We don't sell a right lot of spares for them because actually not many people have got one and nobody's made anything aftermarket for them. So if you do find one, if you do rather, if you do need anything for it, then it's probably gonna be genuine if you can get it. These are pretty much discontinued. Now they are being wound down. Now the pencil vac has been launched. So at the time of making this video, you'll find the odd one. If you want a new one, you'll find the odd one here and there if you search online. And that is about the size of that, lightweight machines. And in the next video, I'm going to show you an even lighter machine. I'm going to show you the Micro, which is in the same family as this. And again, this is where Dyson are clearly going on their battery-powered vacuum cleaners because they are tilting at their main market, which is Asia. Because there are not many people, I don't think, in the UK that's going to find this a usable machine. But anyway, we've got one. It's interesting. We've had a look at it. You can tell me what you think in the comments down below. Would you buy one? Have you had one? What do you think of it? Um, and what do, you think of, what do you think of this end of the market? You know, the fluffy cones, uh, tiny, tiny, lightweight machine. So thank you for watching the video. And down at the bottom here on both sides by now, you should already have a couple of other things you may be interested in watching. And uh, please like and subscribe. And you can argue with me and tell me what you think or don't think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.